The Milpera massacre happened in a quiet suburb of Sydney on Father's Day, September 2nd, 1984. Seven people were killed and many more seriously injured. At the subsequent trial, Justice Roden said, as patriotism can lead to jingoism and mateship can lead to cronyism, so bikey club loyalty can lead to bikey club war. Sorry, bro. Full house. Bro. I said we're full. You know who the fuck I am. I am the supreme commander of the greatest motorcycle club in the history of motorcycle clubs. Don't give a toss who you are. Piss off. You know, I know what it is, right? <laughs> you don't want to share. You want to you keep all those tucked up cocks to themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Just move on. You're right at your wedding tomorrow. Let's go. <clears throat> I'm just going to take a piss. Mm. Where are you at? to you too. We need help. Three of your best. Do some damage on a couple of Maori bounces down the cross. Jock wants them taken care of. He wants us to do his dirty work. Well, that's your job. What's stopping you from bashing them? You know those Maoris. They're built like brick shit houses. Won't look good if they get away with it. Yeah, I'll talk to the boys and see what they think. What was Jock doing in the cross anyway? Was his buck snide? Are the bandidos Mexican? No, mostly Yanks. They're pretty good blokes for Yanks, though. You know it snows in Texas? No way. Yeah, up north. Wow. We'd live somewhere down south where it's warm. Maybe San Antonio. He'd love it, babe. I'd love a 10-gallon hat. 
30 going at. <laughs> you, me, Johnny, buy a nice little farm, raise some cattle, raise some kids. Are you serious? Yeah, I'd love some kids. I know that. I mean, about Texas. Yeah, why not? Well, you just leave everyone behind. Good morning. I'm Miss Lee Denholm, property of Mr. Snotty Spencer. How are you today? So this prick gets married and doesn't even request the pleasure of our company. It's a dog act. What about you, Snod? You getting invited to Jock's wedding? No, nah, mate. Probably thought I was still be in America. Bullshit. Oddball takes a shit and Jock will find out about it. You should rub the banditos meeting in his face. All right. So what do we reckon about going in a bat for him over this King's Cross bashing? We don't need to be saving his ass. He's still our prayers and we're still part of the same club. Would he put his neck on the line for us? He'd at least send in the troops. We could seriously bash those marriages, though. Of course we could. But then they tell their mates up and down Darlinghurst Road and our name's Mud and the Cross. Maybe. Maybe once we win, no one will fuck with us. No. They don't make it any more enemies for Jock. All right. We'll put it to a vote. All those in favour. Back in the garage or what? Well, I swear they came from, didn't you? Well, I said I was sorry, okay? Spoil the bloody photos. Jesus Christ, Russell, will you just leave it alone? Hello? Where the bloody hell are you two being? Come in and give me a hand. I caught up with Caesar. Can you do something else, please, love? I'm on come by to see. So you can fight your own fights. Really? And did you remind him that he's still under my command? I don't think he needs to be reminded. That's the problem. Frick. They put it to the vote, apparently. Just stand there and give me a hand. Kid, I'll put this in the garage. You getting married? I hope you don't mind me dropping by. Jock's home. Snod's really upset about the wedding. Well, it was my day. I didn't want all that crap spoiling it. So what's going on, Ness? Got nothing to do with me or you. It's between them. Yeah, but what about us? Are we still mates? I don't see how we can be. Something legal. Jock wouldn't like that. Go on, it might help make things better between them. Look, I've got to go. I've got 101 things to do. And this. Congratulations. I hope you enjoyed your day. Yeah, it did. Some 
sunshine, drink five of those Yaguases and then punch on for an hour afterwards and come out on top. Collecting quite a few new members, love. Yeah, I am. Every man in his bike in his town is going to want to join the common heroes. And if they don't want to join, they can get out of New South Wales because it belongs to me. And the plans, love, I've got big plans. Yeah, well, no one will be able to run it like you, Jack. <laughs> Don't make a scene with you, love. Oh, yeah, why not? Because I'm enjoying myself. And I've had enough fighting for the week. Congrats on getting hitched the other day. Heard Foggy was having a party, thought we'd drop in and raise a glass with his. Did you enjoy the bridal waltz, did you, Ness? Yeah, it was nice. Have a big turnout for it. This lot, you woulda. Couple of guys there I don't recognise, though. Sure. Yeah, so. Well, here they've got their colours. It's pretty quick. Well, it's not your business, is it? It's still my club. No, it's my club. And if you don't like it, you can piss off. It's just asking, Jock. You know what? You're not welcome here. Right, so you can both leave. Come on, love. You heard what he said? Fuck off or we'll bash you. Shit out of here. <laughs> Sound like Jock last night, mate. What? Okay, get it up. Let's go, let's go. Take a swing. <laughs> See that? Right? Right. If I do that hard enough, you'll never speak the same way again. <laughs> Sorry, Jock. You don't apologize, right? You never apologize. You do it again. Let's go. Take a swing. Oh, wow. Are you not learning anything, kiddo? Job, fine. Who is it? Snotty. So keep practicing. Hello? So you had a party last night? It was a chapter party. Since when do we have chapter parties? One of the lads decided to throw us a party as part of our wedding celebrations, all right? There's no bloody chance of a honeymoon with all this business going on. It seems to me all this business that's going on is coming from your side. That's bullshit. I'm just playing defense. No, you're not. You're taking the piss. You were taking the piss when you threatened Chop and Shad. No, I wasn't taking the piss. So you were serious? You'd bash your own brothers for no reason? I've got my reasons, Snoddy, OK? And that's the way it is. I, I don't give a shit. You know, one day, Jock, someone's going to make damn sure you give a shit. Hello? Snoddy! How about this? Right, Jock Ross puts out the word, and the true soldiers gather. Well, ten times as many as Lloyds are rode in no time. It ain't a competition. We're all still commos, ain't we? You listen to me, Lidl. Right? right, I started this club. Right, so this Western chapter has to set the example. 
We've got to be bigger and better until they see sense and come back to the bosom of the West where the commo belongs. There's no chance of that. Well, then it's your job to convince them, isn't it? You don't want them Campbells back. They're trouble. I'm not talking about them pricks. Right? They can go back to their Campbell suit for all I care. I'm talking about other men, right? There's good men there. Like Snodgrass. I said good men. And let me remind you all here, any chance you get to remind them of where they should be, then you grab it, right? you seize it, run with it from now on. Right? This is carpe diem. <laughs> <laughs> As we welcome Kiddo into this great brotherhood, we welcome our 20th member. And we must continue to grow and continue to get stronger. And it's important that we do that swiftly. So to that end, I'm relaxing the rules. No longer will a worthwhile man have to wait nine months on probation. After three months, if a man looks fit enough, is man enough, then he will be allowed the honor of becoming one of us. Any member found guilty of breeding dissension within the club, running down another member or club policy will be kicked out, never to return. But not before each loyal and dutiful member has the opportunity to belt a shit out of them. You better understand that. We don't need votes. And we don't need the OK from the other lot. Has everyone got that? Hi, Chicky. Hey. You're genius, old lady, aren't you? That or a woman's doll is like. <laughs> hey. Hey, where you going? Come here. Come here. Oi. Hey. Well, that's nice. I was gonna buy one of these at the swap meet. Is that where you got it from? Junior bought it for me. Oh, he got it for you, did he? That's very sweet. Oi, where are you going? Junior bought it for her. Where are you going? Come here. Come on, where are you going? Come on. You don't need to run anywhere. Hey, short ass. You got good taste, short ass. Yeah, mate. I really like this. Give us it here, now. No. I think I'll keep it. That's not fair. You shut your mouth. Fucking apologize. Hey, you hear that? Short ass wants you to fucking apologize. No. I don't think so. You gutless, picking on a woman. <laughs> what did you say? What did you say? You fucking hurt me, old man. I said you're gutless. I said you're fucking gutless, do you hear me? What was it that uh, Jock said about the uh, cafe? Oh, uh, cafe dean. Cafe. Yeah. Oh, shit! <laughs> Come here! <laughs> He's a teenager. He's our newest member. You like him young, don't you, Jock? Maybe he's looking for someone older so I can teach him. Is that what Fog and Snow were doing with Junior? 
teaching him something? From what I heard, Junior was getting lippy. So they should have brought it to a meeting. Uh, well, sometimes lessons are best learned in the heat of battle. Fog and snow need raining in. I don't need you to tell me about leadership, you understand? I've fucking been around the Junior's parents threatening them. Conveniently forgot to tell you that, didn't I? Don't you tell me about my men! But I don't have their reasons! I've been meaning to tell you. I got together with the Banditos when I was in the States. The Banditos? They're full of wogs. Why would you go and do that for? I heard they run a good club. What the fuck would you know about running a good club? Dickhead way. It's just the colours keeping us together. And those colours don't exactly mean much if we don't see eye to eye on shit anymore. We should just hand them back. Form a new club. We're not part of his anymore. He's been fucking us over for long enough. I think you've a shit about anybody. We're gonna start something really big. Something he wouldn't want to tangle with. <laughs> shit load of recruiting. Or join something that's already big. Ronnie from the Bandito said they were looking to branch out over here. <laughs> what? Us join them? Yeah, mate, it's been done before. Clubs joining other clubs. Donation. Do it, mate. Speak soon. We're banditos. <gasps> oh. We're fucking banditos. Baby, I'm so happy for you. Expecting you? Yeah, he is. How are things? Don't know, it's not how are things. Yeah, all right. You should have gone with him. I bloody tried that. Yeah, we didn't try hard enough. Neither of you did. City chapters joining the banditos. We'll be the first here in Australia. I got a charter from the guys in America. I don't give a fuck what you do. Miss 
sending someone around to get all your colors. Oh, you can't have them all. I'm sending some to America. Well, they don't belong there. They're mine. It's a bit late to protect them now. You had your chance. You'll get what we decide you need to get. Pass off. Pass off! Let's have a dance. Come on. You know what we're here for. No. Why don't you spell it out for me? We're here to collect the colours. I told Jock they're going to America. Yeah, he wants them all. Not gonna happen. Well, we're here to take them home. Don't fucking touch them unless you want to lose your hands. Jock wanted me to tell you. You're all trying to see the colors.
And that, my friends, is a Band-Aid hair parter. <laughs> 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 Like Love Cecil Campbell up the ass. Oh, 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 no, he does, he does, mate. He does. Sorry, oh, sorry. <laughs> Bitch, oh, hold on. Sorry, sorry, Come on, Joel. Just a little bit more off the sides. When you said that last time, I ended up looking like bloody Hitler. Well, I thought you'd like that. I ah, see now, I like that. I feel nice. Aye. It's like I'm a little boy again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, little boy jockey. Mm. Mm. You're so cute. Yeah? Mm. Not still on. <laughs> Drop. Sorry. What? Got some Band-Aid news. Go inside now. All right, well, let's have it. Let's go, Touch. Yeah, again, sure. <laughs> 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 oh, Hello, Bond. You got a couple of schooners for the boys, eh? Sorry, no can do. I've got my rules. You want to remind me where they are? You can't have both clubs drinking here at the same time. Doesn't work, you know that. Well, why don't you tell them to fuck off? I haven't seen you around here for a while. It's a Bandito's pub now. Is that right? Is it? It's bad news, isn't it? You best go, Jock. OK, Bob. See, innkeeper says lads will go. See you, Bob. Calling the cops. Hey, don't do that, Bobby. Hey, Bobby, 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 Bobby. Don't no worry, we'll look after this. We'll keep an eye on things. The club will take care of it. No. Hey, hey, promise. You got our word. Okay. Thanks, mate. Let's have another couple.
Running this place is a banditos pub. It's going to be a liability. It's got to stop. It's killing the business and me. Don't worry. I'm going to make sure this stops. Yeah, OK. All right, hang on, I'll ask him. Snotty. Sorry, Snotty. his new club, he'd at least try and wipe the slate clean, start fresh. I didn't ask for your opinion. Well, too bad, I'm giving it. I might keep my mouth shut out there, but in here, in the privacy of my own home, I'll have a fucking opinion. Yeah, you will, won't you? I love the bloody club as much as you do. But it used to be about riding bikes, Jock, and having fun. But that just wasn't enough for you, was it? And now it looks like you might end up losing everything that made it good. Good. I'm the only one that made it good. Right? Me, Jock Ross, right? no other mongrel bastard, on my own. And everyone needs to get that through their thick skull, right? Including you. You're an asshole, Jock Ross. A right royal asshole! Is that right? We need to give Jock a message. No two ways about it. You ain't gonna take notice of no rational message. Yeah, I got that loud and clear. We need something else. Jock likes people to think he's mad, think he's capable of anything. Maybe I need to show him I'm just as fucking crazy. Are you? You think you got some balls, don't you? Walking into our clubhouse, giving a bit of lip, bashing Bob Woods. But you're shitting yourself now, aren't you? It's just you and me. Jock will come after you. If you do anything to me, you're just a shit kicker, mate. He won't give a rat's ass. He's got my back. Is that what he told you? Yeah, he teaches me stuff. Looks after me. Yeah. You did the same to me for a while. I'll tell you something for nothing. Get out of the common churros while you still can. And you tell Jock 
to stay the fuck off our patch or he's a dead man.